Welcome to QSIS Level 1 Online Training. My name is Patrick Hine. And my name is Nathan McCarrick. And we will be your course instructors throughout this introduction to QSIS and the QSIS Designer software. First of all, what can you expect from this training? This training course is designed to get you qualified to build a networked audio system design using the QSC ecosystem. The training is broken into different modules that focus on various concepts or processes. Each module involves watching several short videos and then passing an online assessment that tests your knowledge of those videos. After you have passed the assessment for all of the individual modules, you'll be ready for the final exam, in which you will build a complete audio design from scratch based on a system spec we will provide you. You'll submit your design to us for review, and if you pass, then you receive your QSIS Level 1 certificate and are eligible to sign up for advanced in-class Level 2 training. You should download the latest version of QSIS Designer software and keep it open while watching each video. Follow along with us and learn as you go. The software is pretty simple and intuitive, but watching the videos is no substitute for doing it yourself. We know that this kind of training can traditionally be a little dry. Boring. So we're going to do our best to keep things as light and entertaining as possible. In return, you have to promise not to be a big old cheater. Yeah. You see, this training course is worth Infocom CTS credits. What? And some people might think that they can fly through this material for some quick credits. Uh -uh, there's no fly in here, buddy. Well, I ought to warn you that if you fail any assessment three times in a row... Fail, fail, fail! You'll be locked out until you contact us and we have to reset it for you. And furthermore, if you're working on your design with someone else in your company and you just decide to copy and paste parts of their design and put it in yours and call oh, it your own, shit, we can tell. If we even suspect that any part of your final design is not your own, we will ask you to submit a new design. Bong! Shit. And this new design will be based on a far more difficult system spec, all right? Okay, good. From time to time, we may update certain modules or add new videos as new features are added to designer software. You can also learn more by selecting QSIS Quick Starts, which contain modules on additional features that are not required in Level 1 certification. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. We respond to every email and we love getting feedback because we're always working to improve this course. Our goal is to get you certified and we're eager to help. So let's get started. You can take the modules in any order, but you really should start with the first one, Hardware Overview, which will teach you about the physical devices involved in the QSA system. And then the second module will show you how to navigate the designer software. Before you begin, it's time to take your first assessment based on the video you're watching right now. It's only five questions long, but you'll have to get every single question right in order to start your training. If you fail on this test, you'll have to email us and ask for forgiveness in order to try again. Good luck, and we look forward to seeing your submission soon.